Today's Hall of Fame honoree is 11-year-old Emily Ginn from Reno, Nevada. You know, you don't often think of babysitters as being heroes, but that's exactly what Emily is. Let's take a look at what happened on her babysitting job. Emily Ginn is a good babysitter, and she really cares for the kids she sits for. She's concerned about their safety and takes the job seriously. Emily proved it one night when her babysitting duties dramatically changed, becoming a matter of life and death. Yet it happened on just another normal day with no signs of trouble. My mom asked me if I wanted to babysit for a couple of friends of hers. And I said, sure, I guess, because this is pretty rare for me to get to do anything on a school night because I have to get up early in the morning. Emily met the kids and got instructions from the parents before they headed out to a holiday party. Yvonne and Rick left. It was the first time Emily babysat for this family, but things were going just fine. The kids were fed, they took their bath, and everything was going smoothly. We were sitting down watching a movie, and then Trevor was ready for bed. He wanted me to read him a book. And Angelina was standing over by the TV in the stereo, and Trevor looked up and says, Oh, look, she's making funny faces at us. I looked up at her, and I realized she was choking. She was, she was, her mouth is open, her arms are out, and they're shaking, and she's turning blue, a shade of blue. And I just decided to act. And I stuck my finger down her throat and pulled it out, whatever it was. It looked like dog hair and tin soul. And I called my mom, and I said, Angelina just choked. She said, the baby choked. She was blue, Mom. She was blue. She wasn't breathing. My mom says, is Angelina okay? I said, yeah, she's fine. She acted like it never happened. I said, do you want to come home? I'll come and get you. I'll stay with the kids. She said, no, I want to stay and finish the job. Everything's fine now. When I put Trevor and Angelina in bed, I realized, boy, she could have had I could have lost her. The first little girl I really babysat. She didn't want to tell Rick and Yvonne. That she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to babysit again. And she says, well, that's okay. I'll tell them in the morning in case... And they have to know this in case she has to go to the doctor or anything. Yvonne was very, very thrilled that Emily happened to be the sitter that night, that her original sitter, sitter had canceled out. It's as if it was supposed to happen like that. Little Angelina is alive because of Emily. Through this life-threatening experience, she realized the serious responsibility involved in babysitting. So again, Emily took the extra step. She enrolled in a babysitting safety class so she will be prepared for future emergencies. Keep his chin lower than his chest. And Emily compiles the babysitting advice of her own. If somebody calls, you never say, you never want to say you're the babysitter. Hello? Um, they're busy right now. They asked me to take a message. When you're babysitting, you're there to do a job, not to socialize with your friends. Oh, I can't talk right now. Okay, well, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye. I have a phone number of where the people are going to go and what time they'll be back, and a list of emergency phone numbers. Maybe you Emily proved that she is a responsible, caring babysitter. She reacted calmly in an emergency, saving baby Angelina's life, and Angelina's mom will be eternally grateful. Uh, I could never thank her enough, ever, for what she did, and um, she's my babysitter from now on. We are proud of Emily for her quick thinking, and we welcome her into the Mickey Mouse Club Hall of Fame. Wow, Emily was really put to the test on her first babysitting job. I know. I'd give her an A, that's for sure. Me too. If there's someone you know who does something special, write to us at Hall of Fame, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And don't forget to include your name, address, and telephone number.